I'm Artifacts of Mars, and by now most of you have heard what happened in Orlando. They're calling it a domestic terror incident, but make no mistake. They're saying that this the uh, terrorist had ties to Islamic jihad groups. In other words, let me break this down into what this means. There's at least 20 dead and 42 wounded. And of course, they're going to try for more gun laws, more gun laws, more gun laws. Their gun laws aren't stopping this. Uh, I'll break this down real simple. This was an Islamic jihadist, an Islamic soldier who hated I say hated because he's dead. He hated homosexuals and he planned this attack. This type of thing is going to keep going on. We got to get that border shut. This is uh, definitely going to add to Donald Trump's ranks because people are going to look at this and Donald Trump said, let's stop bringing in Muslims until we can. I uh, get to sort, find a way to sort out who's the good guys from the bad guys. They'll benefit him. Uh, but this was an attack by Islam on a homosexual. On homosexuals. They hate homosexuals, and, you know, in their countries they stole them to death or whatever. So, there you have it. The press isn't going to report this because they call it a domestic terrorism incident. Domestic terrorism is code word for blame whites. When I say domestic terrorist, <laughs> blame the white people. They're not even naming the... Uh, criminal who did this. FBI said the shooter was well organized and well prepared, adding he is not from this area. In a press conference uh, on Sunday at 7 a.m., FBI assistant agent in charge of the agency's Tampa Division, Ron Hopper, said was asked if the shooter who was shot and killed by police had ties to jihadist terror groups. So this time we're looking at all angles right now, the official said. We do have suggestions that the individual may have leanings toward that particular ideology. Right now we can't say it definitively, so we're running everything around. Now, I'll pull this video if it turns out this is not the case. Well, uh, that's what it's looking like. Uh, they copiously mentioned that this was a nightclub for uh, homosexuals. So uh, that was a red, red flag right there. Something was wrong. But when it, this can be classified as a domestic terrorist incident. Orange County Sheriff Joe Jerry Demings said at press conference in the Department of Florida Law Enforcement is investigating this morning shooting as an act of terrorism that will be determined if it's domestic or international terrorism. And that's about that. Looks like another attack by an Islamic uh, soldier. Trump is right. Get the borders shut. Keep them out until we can, uh, find some way of preventing the bad guys from coming here. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.